Hello Scorpio, Summon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Scorpio, today we're going to go over your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or may be happening at a later date. There's an overall energy of you basically feeling the need that you have to move in silence is like the best way that I can describe uh, what it is that I'm seeing here, whatever it is that you currently find yourself up to. Um, you're definitely not telling absolutely anyone um, about this in regards to whatever it is that you currently find yourself up to. Again, I keep getting that energy of moving in silence, moving in silence. Um, I do want to look, I do want to look at the Knight of Cups just to kind of see what it is that you're currently up to. So that way I have a rough idea. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. Okay. All right, so, ooh, okay, we have the uh, King of Cups, we got the Devil, and then we also have the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus strongly, possibly another Scorpio, maybe even a Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though. There's somebody here that you're connecting with, Scorpio, but... Again, I keep getting that energy of like moving in silence, like nobody can know about this. Like it has that type of feel to it. Um, whoever it is that you currently find yourself connecting with, there's a huge possibility that your family members may not even know about this person. Your friends may not even know about this person. But there's somebody here that you're clearly connecting with. I just kind of feel like you're kind of keeping your relationship with this person in particular on the down low. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is that I'm seeing here. Now let's talk about this person that you currently find yourself connecting with. Right off the bat, um, I am kind of getting an overall energy of obsession that this person has with you. Um, I feel like this person is very obsessed with you as well as your overall energy. Um, we have the King of Cups you know, right next to the Devil. So this could definitely represent somebody who is madly in love. Um, with you but i just keep getting like obsession off of this person i feel like this person's very obsessed with you and your overall energy let's look at the high priestess tell me more about the high priestess okay all right so we have the seven of pentacles hmm. we also have the king not the king of cups sorry we have the seven of pentacles we have the six of cups and then we also have the sun Mm, I see. There's also like an overall energy, Scorpio, of you not necessarily being so open and honest, I would say, with this person in regards to like how you feel about them and what you want with them. I do kind of feel like you are starving this person uh, of how you truly feel about them and what you want with them is like the best way that I can describe what it is I'm seeing here. And I do kind of feel like that does kind of cause this king of cups of yours to become even more obsessed with you even more drawn to you um in your overall energy because i feel like you're starving them of how you truly feel about them and what you truly want with them so let's talk about how you truly feel about this person what you want with them you know this is somebody that you see a lot of potential with this is somebody that you feel really good about this is also somebody who brings a lot of happiness and joy into your life you see a great deal a potential here with this person but i feel like you're starving them okay of like how you actually feel about them what you actually want with them which causes this one to become even more obsessed um with you is is kind of what i'm getting now i do want to look at the death card tell me more about the death card for some of you you could have just recently got out uh of a relationship and now you currently find yourself connecting with this one i am definitely getting that um for some of you out there, I just kind of feel like things are, how do I say this? I just kind of feel like things are growing at a rapid pace, I would say, uh, between you and this person. And I feel like it is kind of making you a little bit uncomfortable. You might feel like things are moving a little too quickly here for your liking. But outside of that, it's either you just got out of a relationship and you still kind of need time to fully grieve the loss of this relationship that you recently got out of or things are just moving at a rapid pace here between you and this person and it's making you uncomfortable let's look at your person though how does this person currently view this relationship with scorpio Ooh, okay mm. okay we have the queen of wands we have the four of cups and then we also have the uh king of pentacles at the bottom of the deck we do have the seven of cups and then we also have the world okay so in regards to how this person's currently feeling about you in this relationship um that they share with you 
the way that you move in this this connection here between you and them causes them to want you even more i cannot get over that the fact that you're starving them of how you actually feel about them and how you actually want with them causes them to become extremely obsessed with you the fact that you don't make yourself that available to this person causes them to even more you know find themselves in this energy of like obsession with you okay is like the best way that i can describe it as i'm seeing here um because this person you know they're showing up with the four of cups to the queen of wands so that's kind of telling me um that this person they want more out of you and more out of this connection you're just currently not giving them that um is, is basically what i'm getting but with the king of pentacles showing up here they're very committed and devoted to you and this relationship that they share with you i don't feel like this person's entertaining anyone else nor do they want to kind of looks like you have this person's complete and undivided attention so then there's that scorpio then there's that i just don't feel like eh. i don't feel like you're um giving this person too much access to you like they have access to you but they just don't have too much access to you uh like they would prefer is kind of what i'm getting let's say for let me just use this as an example so that way you guys know like roughly what i'm talking about um let's say for perfect example you only see this person once a week right and you only spend like a good what four hours with them um nothing more nothing less like you know this is that type of person that would love to spend every freaking day with you you know what i mean from sun up to sundown but it just kind of looks like um for whatever reason um they're currently not getting that from you as far as like you know you making yourself more available to them is concerned all right back to you how does scorpio currently feel <clears throat> okay so we have the Wheel of Fortune, we also have the Three of Cups, and then we also have the Emperor, okay? The bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Wands, we also have the Star, as well as the Temperance card. Okay, so far so good. So, in regards to how you're currently feeling about this relationship, um, Scorpio, I feel like when you're with this person... I feel like when you're with this person, um, you feel whole and complete is like the best way that I can describe it is that I'm seeing here. I mean, you guys are showing up as a true pair to one another. We do have the king and the queen of wands out here, making it a true pair situation here between you and this person. But I feel like you really do enjoy being around this person. You really do enjoy spending time with this person. So uh, what's the, I don't understand. Like, what are you, I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out what, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to figure out what are you doing here, Scorpio? Um... Because you enjoy spending time with them. You love being around them. You feel really good about them. There's a strong and intense connection here. So I don't I don't fully understand why there's so much holding back coming from you. I don't understand it for the life of me, Scorpio. You got me beat there. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because it, it feels like the... Um, uh, it, it, it feels like the uh, seven of wands is like the best way that I can describe it. Like there's a level of resistance coming from you. There's a level of holding back coming from you um, in regards to this connection, in regards to this person. But I just don't understand why, because you feel pretty damn good about them. You mesh very well with them. You guys have a lot in common with one another. Um, you genuinely feel like this is somebody who has your best interest at heart. So as to why you're kind of holding back a little bit is kind of like beyond me. Why is Scorpio holding back? Because I'm kind of getting the seven of wands with you. Why is Scorpio holding back? I need, a, I need to know. I just need to know. Okay, let's see. There goes that seven of wands that I was feeling. Uh, seven of wands, two of wands. We got the tower. And then we also have the um, page of wands. Jesus Christ, Scorpio, there's just so much like holding back coming from you, but there's also like a whole lot of like wanting to go there with this person, but too damn afraid to do so. Like it has that type of feel to it. And with the page, again, it's it's that energy of like feeling pulled and, and drawn to a person, right? But it's like you're it's like you're fighting it at the same exact time. With that tower coming out here, I just I just kind of feel like this connection just kind of landed in your lap, you know, sort of speak. You know what I mean? You just weren't anticipating or expecting for this connection to just show up. 
Um, it looks like it just kind of did, and it also kind of looks like you just weren't prepared for it. It's like the best way that I can describe what it is I'm seeing here. Let's jump back to this one over here. Um, what action? I mean, what actions? You get what actions? Come on, get it together. How does this person currently feel? All right, let's see. Ooh, okay, so for those of you who do not know this, okay, the person that's in the strength card is actually the Empress. We already have the Emperor out here, so another true pair situation yet again uh, between you and this person. You're definitely connecting with a soulmate. You're definitely connecting with somebody that you're very compatible with. So we have the Nine of Wands, and then we also have the Moon. There is like an overall energy of confusion attached to this person, okay, and they don't necessarily like that there's an overall energy of confusion attached to their overall energy. This relationship that y'all got going on here between the two of you it really does confuse the hell out of them um, and it causes them to basically feel like they're putting themselves in that predicament to potentially get hurt and disappointed by you and it's mainly because they just don't they just don't know how you look at them how you feel about them what you want with them because again i was kind of getting that energy of you starving them of what you want with them and how you truly feel about them with the page of cups to the queen of pentacles coming out here i'm just gonna have to kind of blow your spot up scorpio i hate to do it i'm just doing my job true pair situation yet again between you and this person we have the king of pentacles now we have the queen of pentacles so let's let's talk i feel like mm, I just feel like you're very vague uh, when it comes down to how you feel about this person and what is it you want with this person. You're very vague about it, um, which causes them to wonder, you know, do you really want to be with them or do you not want to be with them? Do you see yourself having a future here with them or do you not see yourself having a future here with them? Um, in other words... And again, just using this as an example, let's say for perfect example, you're head over heels in love with this one over here. Instead of you saying, I'm head you know, over heels in love with you, you might just go as far as to say, yeah, you know, I like you. I, I think you're cool. You know, like you're just very vague. You know what I mean? When it comes down to how you feel about them, um, you hold back a lot. You hold back a whole lot, my friend. Um, okay, let's look at the moon. Tell you more about the moon. Oh, we have the nine of swords, we got the hermit, and then we have the five of swords. They just, they, they just, they just currently feel in the dark, dude, when it comes down to how you feel about them and what you want with them. And it really does worry them and it really does, you know, concern them because the last thing they want to experience is a letdown from you. You know what I mean? Um, and I think that that is what this person's worried about. That is what this person's worried about. So not only do they feel like they have to be extremely guarded with you, which they don't want to be guarded with you, but due to the circumstances, right? Uh, they feel like they have to be guarded when it comes down to you. They feel like they got to watch their back when it comes down to you because they just, they don't know like how you view them, how you feel about them and, and what you want with them. They just don't know because you're currently starving them of that. Um, so, you know, then there's that. Uh, what actions will this person take? Man, one thing I will say is you definitely know how to pick them. You definitely know how to pick them. I like this person um, to the right of me. Not only did they show, well, they showed up as a king of wands, king of pentacles, king of cups. Now they're showing up as the uh, hierophant and they're showing up as an emperor. I like this person. And they got the fucking knight of pentacles attached to them. Knight of pentacles is somebody that you can rely on, somebody that you could depend on, somebody that you can trust, okay? I can't emphasize this enough. I really do like this person to the right of me. I really like them a whole lot for you. I do. They're very, very committed and devoted to you and what they want with you. They're very, very serious about you. Like, this person's not here to fuck around. They're not here to play games with you, okay? They're not. They're definitely not. They know that you are what they want. I also kind of feel like this person has already thought about marriage when it comes on to you. I'm also kind of getting that because the hair font to the four wands, it, it basically represents um, marriage. True pair situation, by the way, yet again, we got the high priestess for you. We got the uh, hair font for them. Okay, let's keep going. What actions will Scorpio take towards this person or moving forward? Okay. We have the King of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We got the, uh, here you, here you come in trying to pump the brakes on this relationship and on them. Okay. 
it, it's gosh how do i explain what you're doing here it, it's like you're falling into this energy of like yeah i see a lot of potential with them yeah i could totally see myself building and establishing a life with them but because there's always a but right but i just you know i just kind of feel like things are moving a little too quickly i need some time time for what <laughs> what, what do you need time for i don't understand like i don't understand i don't understand I don't understand. What do you need time for? Let's look at this a little bit more. You're kind of driving me crazy. So I can only imagine how this human feels. Um, okay. Tell me more about this page of cups. <sighs> okay. We have the three of pentacles. We got the magician. And then we also have the uh, three of wands. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Nine of Cups, and then we also have the Page of Swords. Listen, I'm going to have to blow your spot up one more time, okay? I kind of feel like the... Because this, to me, kind of feels like the epitome of somebody trying to buy time. I hate to blow your spot up. I hate to do this to you, but I feel like you're, you're trying to buy time here. Um, but I feel like it's stemming from a place of you basically feeling not 100% ready to give up your singlehood just yet for this person is basically what I'm getting. Um, so with, with, with that being said, it kind of looks like you're just buying time over here. Like, I'm not ready just yet, but just give me time. I'll be ready in a minute. You know what I mean? It has that type of feel to it. Because, again, it's like this is somebody that you're very compatible with. This is somebody that you mesh very well with. This is also somebody that you see a lot of potential with. Um, this is somebody that you do want to manifest and create a life with. You're just currently delaying everything because let's just be real. I just don't feel like you're 100% ready to um, give up your singlehood just yet. Just yet. You don't want them to go anywhere. You know what I mean? You don't want them to go anywhere. You still want to continue to build, um, you know, with them and, and have them around and stuff like that. Um, but you're just not ready. You're just not ready to give up your singlehood is what it is. It's kind of what it all boils down to. Um, okay. Tell me more about this line of cups energy. We have the Queen of Wands, we got the Page of Wands, and then we also have the Lovers. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Five of Wands, we have the Queen of Swords, we also have the Knight of Pentacles to the Three of Swords. Mm. Okay. With the Knight of Pentacles coming out here, uh, Knight of Pentacles, it represents... Um, it represents the slowest moving knights out of all the knights, right? I do see this person... Um, taking things extremely slowly here with you, but I'm going to be honest with you, Scorpio... This whole you buying time, yeah, it might work for now. You know, you might have a good month, you know, to, um, you know, really, you know, uh, prepare yourself, I guess, to like kiss your singlehood goodbye, you know what I mean? But, you know, there is going to come a point in time uh, where, you know, this person's going to want more out of you and more out of this connection and you're going to have to kind of like, you know come face to face with, you know, kissing your single hood goodbye, uh, but also come face to face with other things um, that you've basically been avoiding, I would say, when it comes down to being in a relationship with a person, whether that be, you know, your trust issues, whether that be your fear of intimacy, um, whether that be past traumas that you haven't necessarily healed from and or dealt with, like, because not only do I see you coming face to face with having to kiss your singlehood goodbye. I see you coming to face with other things as well. Um, like I said, you know, trust issues, past traumas, um, fear of intimacy, you know, things of that nature, okay? And from the looks of it, and I'm just going to be a straight shooter about this, you know, it's not going to be... It, it's not going to be a fun journey, you know what I mean? But once you get to the other side of all of this, you'll come out a more healed version um, of yourself. I'll say that because it kind of looks like there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that you haven't necessarily fully healed from that you probably thought you healed from. But it kind of looks like once you do actually decide to kind of take things a step further with this person, that's when it's all going to kind of come up to the surface for you. Um, because there is an overall energy of you thinking that you've healed from a lot of things 
But I kind of feel like this connection, once you do, like I said, take things a step further here with this person, you're going to realize like, oh, shit, I didn't actually heal from this. I didn't actually heal from that. Like I thought I did. Um, it's basically what I'm getting. But like I said, once you get to the other side of all of this, you're going to come out a more healed version of yourself. So I highly recommend that you, you know, see this entire situation through um, because that's the only way that you're going to officially heal from all of this is coming face to face with it and just dealing with it um, head on. Like I said, it's not going to be, you know, a walk in the park or anything like that, but it's, it's definitely worth you coming face to face with all this stuff. Uh, so that way, you know, it's not continuing to affect you anymore in relationships, although it will affect you in this relationship slightly, but not to the point where, you know, things are going to end or anything like that between the two of you because of the things that you haven't necessarily fully healed from. Um, but what's the outcome here between these two? Okay. We have the Temperance card, we have the uh, King of Swords, and then we also have the Fool out here. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Chariot, and then we also, I like this damn person. I like this damn person for you. I really like them. I'm really impressed by them. I, I really am. Um, this person's very big on loyalty, um, also very, very big on communication. This is somebody... Um, who also comes off to me as somebody who doesn't want um, to give you like a reason to doubt them or question them or not trust them um, is kind of what I'm getting, which is something that I genuinely do have a lot of respect for. Um, I feel like this is like the perfect person to like walk this journey with, if you will, um, mainly, mainly because as you're dealing with everything that you kind of have to deal with as far as past traumas is concerned, you won't have to worry about this person adding shit to the plate. You know what I mean? Um, which is something that I really do love um, about this person. It's something that I honestly have a lot of respect for. Uh, with temperance being by this person's side, that's kind of telling me that this person genuinely has your best interest at heart. Their intentions towards you um, are very, very pure. So I like this person to the right of me. I like them a whole lot. And, and you know, if, from the looks of it, it looks like you really like this person a whole lot too. It's just there's, you know certain things that are currently preventing you from fully going there and like i said dude you could sit here and buy time all you want you know you might have a good old month you know to enjoy your singlehood and also prepare yourself to kiss your singlehood goodbye but once you know that's done and over with you're gonna have to really face you know what you've been kind of avoiding when it comes down to relationships you know whether that be you know you having a hard time trusting a person in a relationship or whatever the case may be um, but as far as like the outcome of this relationship, I feel like this person, as well as you are going to help one another out throughout this journey. I feel like they're going to be, um, they're going to be that type of person that's going to like, you know, be there by your side every step of the way, because you're going to struggle. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. You're going to struggle in the very beginning with this individual. Once you do decide to take things a step further, because in your mind, you think that you're putting yourself in that predicament to get played again, to get cheated on again, to get manipulated again, to get um, deceived again. Even though I don't see that happening here, you're going to think it anyways. And it's it's because you've experienced, you know, one of those things that I mentioned in a previous relationship. So you're going to find yourself thinking, oh, man, I'm just signing myself up to go through this, that and the third all over again. Uh, even though I don't see you going through that, I don't see you going through that. You're going to think um, that that's exactly what you're doing here. That's exactly what you're signing yourself up for. Um, and it is going to be a hard journey for you. And it is going to really take this person to reassure you along the way and be there for you every step of the way. Um, but this is the perfect person to walk this journey with. I mean, I wouldn't pick any anybody else for you, to be honest, which it makes sense as to why Spirit's sending somebody like this um, into your life. Because this person's going to really change your life in, in a very, very positive way, Scorpio. Because like I said, once you get to the other side of all of this, you're, you're going to be a more healed version of yourself. You're not going to find yourself getting triggered over the shit you used to get triggered over. Um, you're not going to find yourself having trust issues anymore. Uh, you're not going to find yourself questioning every little thing along the way um, anymore. But it does kind of require you to really go there um, in order to overcome these things. Because if you just keep avoiding it, you're never going to overcome these things. And, and and listen, you could even go as far as to like get rid of this human because it's a little too much for you. Um, but love is always going to come knocking on your door. And when it does, you're going to be 
dealt with the same exact cards. So you might as well just see it through, especially with someone like this by your side. Um, cause honestly, I wouldn't pick any other person, uh, for you to walk this journey with, to be completely honest. I like this person, uh, to the right of me. I do. I like them a lot for you, but yeah, that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.